What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights at Warriors McDonald's 3. Well, this is the third game in the Five Nights at Warriors McDonald's series, and this game is, of course, made by um, MLS Warrior. So, yeah. So, without further ado, we'll start a new game. Let's see what has to offer for us. One night, there was someone by the name of Edward Coleman. Oh, he resembles Mario. He was a robber. He was going over to the plane crash to try to steal some things. When Edward turned his head around, he noticed a restaurant that happened to be Wario's restaurant. Edward knew that Wario was rich, and since he went missing, he expected to find a lot of cash inside. Edward entered through the backside door of the restaurant, not realizing the horrors that were inside. <sighs> but no matter what was coming for him, he wanted to find the money before leaving. When walking through the restaurant, he got a call from Max Peterson, who was his partner in crime buddy. Alright, so we get another cutscene. It's the phone call. Edward, where are you? You've been gone for so long. Dude, don't worry. I just reached the plane's crash site. Oh, okay. Sorry, then. That's fine. Mm. So, what did you find over there? Well, actually, I'm at Wario's McDonald's restaurant. Wait, Wario's McDonald's restaurant? Uh, yeah, you know, that weird rich guy who owns this restaurant. Did you not hear about the horrors in that restaurant? Yeah, I heard that Wario was somewhere around the building and attacked and probably killed someone. Okay, was that Wario thing just something you made up right now to convince me to come back? No, no, okay, well, look, where are you at? Eh, yeah, well, I'm at the first counter with just some signs, some toy supplies, and a big curtain. Um, a curtain? Yeah, a curtain. For some reason, I don't know why that's there. Actually... Maybe you can use that to defend yourself against Wario and the others. Dude, you're overreacting. No, no, I swear. I read it on the newspaper. Okay, look, I found cameras, which is kind of weird because I had to press the space bar to turn it on. But in case if I do see someone and they come into my room, I'll block them with the curtain. Okay? Um, yeah, yeah. That would be perfect. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, shut up. Good night. Wait. Okay, so whoever comes into the room, we have to block them with the curtains. <laughs> left click and hold the curtain and then drag it to left and right. I assume this is the camera that we gotta click on. Because we do have cameras to look around the place. This is actually a fast night. I just noticed the time over there. Okay, there's Waluigi. Okay, so we're dealing with Wario and Waluigi for night one. So if either one of them come, we have to block them with the curtains. Okay, Waluigi's here, but he's in the middle, so we can leave the curtain there. So if Wario or Waluigi come to the left or right, we move the curtain to block them. And then if they come in the middle, we just leave the curtain there. There we go, okay. Alright, so we blocked Wario with the curtain, so... Waluigi comes to the middle, Wario will either come to the left or right. Okay, got it. We don't really need to use the cameras that much because all we're doing is just tracking them to see where they are. Oh, Wario's waving hi. Hello, Wario. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't move the curtain in time.
Okay, so that's to move the curtain, obviously. And it has stability, I just noticed. Okay, it's kind of weird dealing with Warrior for the curtain, because he just comes to the left or the right. Waluigi just comes to the middle. Okay, so we got the curtain on Waluigi, so that's good. There you go. Okay, so Wario, we gotta move this curtain back and forth. There we go. There we go. Okay, we blocked Wario. Perfect. Now I gotta move it back to the middle for Waluigi, because because Waluigi comes to the middle. Yep, he just came so we can keep it keep it in the middle. And then Wario comes to the left and the right. Waluigi's back again. Damn it, and I didn't move the curtain in time. God, I wish the curtain would just move faster. Because I gotta be very quick with the curtain. I don't know why it's not moving fast enough. I wish the curtain would move faster. Because the curtain's kind of tricky to move. God, I've already died twice to Wario because the curtain is because of how tricky the curtain is to move. Okay, Waluigi's here, so we can keep it in the middle. Damn it! I was moving the curtain! How can you not say I moved the curtain? I was moving the curtain to block Wario. is tricky to move. Because I can't even predict where Wario's going to come from. God, because Wario's tricky to deal with for the curtain.
There we go. I don't know why the curtain has to be so tricky to move. I'm moving the curtain as quick as I can, but I have only little time to react for Wario. Waluigi's easy to react to because he just comes to the middle of the counter. Wario comes to either the left or the right, and you have so little time to react. Damn it! I'm moving the curtain as quick as I can. Oh, and it just shows Edward Coleman dead right there. After Wario kills him. God, night one is so tricky because of the curtain. It's tricky. I'm moving the curtain as fast as I can. I just wish the curtain would speed up. And apparently I have to move the curtain. I have to be... Ugh, excuse me, sorry. Apparently with the curtain, I have to be very quick about moving it. Not only to deal with Wario, but also because of its stability. Because the curtain only has a limited amount of stability. And I assume if it runs out, then we can't use the curtain anymore. To defend ourselves, and then we'd be screwed. But I mean, should be fine for right now with the curtain because only time I gotta move it is for Wario. There we go, got rid of Wario. And then I'm gonna move it back to the middle so that when Waluigi comes, it's there for him. Because Waluigi only comes to the middle. You only gotta really move the curtain for Wario because he comes to the left and the right. And you gotta be very quick though because it's got limited stability. Except the problem is, the curtain is, you have so little time to move a curtain that you gotta be really quick. Which is why I've died like four times so far. There we go. Okay, I got Wario. Perfect. God, I always get nervous dealing with Wario because I've been killed four times by him because of the curtain. Because the curtain is just tricky to move. Okay, I gotta get in the middle while Luigi's here. There we go. And then I gotta deal with Wario. There we go. Got rid of Wario. Perfect. Okay. I don't get how the curtain can cover him from outside the counter. I thought he had to show up, like, inside the counter like Waluigi does. But apparently, only Waluigi shows up shows up behind the counter. Wario comes in front of the counter. Okay, Waluigi's back. And I gotta deal with Wario. There you go. And I've already drained half of its stability because the curtain has only limited stability. Wall 
Luigi, and we beat Night One. There we go. So Night One was a little bit tricky because because of the curtain. Night One was a little tricky because we had to get used to the curtain, but we beat it nonetheless, so that's good. And without further ado, we will take on Night Two, and let's see what that's offer for us. Oh, so we can choose a room to hide in, huh? Okay, so just like with Final Fantasy Warriors 3, we get to choose a room. This game also reminds me of, um, this game reminds me of Final Fantasy Warriors 3 as well as Final Fantasy Warriors Trapped Within, Switched in Time, and then, and then Final Fantasy Warriors, um, 3 Custom Room Edition. Before I get started, I gotta, I gotta try my laptop, because I just realized I have a little battery. And if you're wondering why I blow on the charger, it's because it actually does the trick. Just like with a DS. Sorry if you heard stuff falling over because I gotta move stuff. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, we can either choose the boys' restroom or the girls' restroom. Okay, the okay, I'm gonna pick the boys' restroom because Edward is a gentleman and since I am a gentleman too, the gentlemen should use the boys' restroom. The ladies should use the girls' restroom. So being the gentleman I am, I will go to the boys' restroom. All right, we get a phone call. Okay. Yeah, hello? Edward, are you okay in there? I'm fine. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Did you see Wario last night? Yeah, you were right. I did see Wario last night. Yeah, I saw oh, him too. Oh, God, okay. Did you get out? Actually, I did not. What? Why? Well, they're really damn stupid. Like, seriously. I did lock them away with the curtains like you told me to last night, and they actually ran away. Oh, so my idea did work after all. Surprising. Yeah, they are so dumb, which is why I'm staying here until I find that money. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Trust me. Okay, well, where are you hiding? Oh, I'm in the restroom. The restroom? Yeah, I had to use it. Just don't judge me. Well, I suppose you could just lock the door. Just lock the door? Yeah, and they shouldn't be able well, to... Well, yeah, you can it. walk the bathroom stall. Yes. That's true. What if they come from below or right above me? Oh, well, I suppose you could just knock. Knock? Knock? Yeah, say, your cams. Uh, which camera are you at? Okay, so watch that camera. If someone is close to you on whatever side they are on, then knock on whatever side they are at. Okay, but how am I supposed to tell the one on the right? Wait, what do you mean? Are you in the middle stall? Yeah, I'm in the middle stall. Well, maybe if someone was in Cam 1 and they leave the spot, then maybe they are on the right side. I see. Yeah, just watch that camera really closely. Okay, uh... Sure. Um, is something wrong? Sorry, I, I think I'm just seeing things. Oh, are, are you okay? Fine. Okay, well, I guess I will talk to you tomorrow. Cool, thanks. Good night. Thanks, you too. Oh, there's a gear right there. Wonder what we do with that. Huh. Okay. So apparently we're hiding in the bathroom stall. And whoever comes... Okay, so we have to watch the bathroom stall camera. And whoever comes there in front of the stall, we have to knock on the door like this. To pretty much scare them off. Okay, so we're dealing with Mario, so I assume since Mario, you can see, is fading in, we have to put down the camera to avoid Mario because if you look at the camera for too long, then I assume Mario will kill you because Mario is pretty much a hallucination. Okay. Okay, there's Yoshi, so we're dealing with Mario and Yoshi. I don't know when we got to knock on the door for Yoshi because. Huh. 
Do I just knock right now and then he goes away? Okay, yeah, all right, so. All right, so Yoshi just left, so that's good. So if Yoshi comes in the bathroom in front of the middle stall, which is where, we're, where we are, then we have to knock on the door to scare him off. Oh, and there's Wario too. Okay, so we're also dealing with Wario. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of Mario because Mario's fading in. Oops. Okay. You didn't knock on the left side when Mario was close to you. Okay. So Wario will be coming from the left side. Yoshi will be coming from the middle. So for Wario, same thing as Yoshi. We have to knock on the door when he's there. I assume this stuff is for the good ending right there. I'm not sure. Because I grabbed a camera piece thinking it was the camera, but that's a gear. So I don't know. If there is a good ending in this game, then we'll go, f we'll go for the good ending in another video. Okay, so... So we can knock on the left, middle, and the right side. I don't know who's going to be coming from the right side. I think it's Yoshi. Because Yoshi comes from the middle on the right side. Wario comes from the left side. Okay, so I got to get rid of Mario because... Mario's mechanic is the same as the first game, where he will fade in. And if he fade and if he fully fades in, then we have to get rid of him. So for Mario, we got. Oh, here's Luigi. Okay, so how do we deal with Luigi? Does he come to the to the stall too? Oh wait. Wait. How do we deal with Luigi? Do we just knock on the stall or something? So I'm figuring out how to deal with Luigi because we're also dealing with Luigi. You didn't knock on the right side when Luigi was close to you. Okay. For the tip, if he was in cam one and he is left, that means he is close to you. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so for Luigi, um, if he is on the left side of the camera, it means he's close to you. And the game just crashed on me, I don't know why, but I gotta restart the game, I do apologize. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... Okay, so for Luigi, um, if he comes to the left side of the bathroom stall on cam one, then we have to knock. That means he's nearby and we have to knock on the door. Wario, we only have to knock on the bathroom stall if he is in front of it. Same with Yoshi. Okay. So we got to play the knocking game. And then Mario also comes if we knock on the door, so we got to not knock too much on the door or check the cameras for a long period of time or else Mario will fully fade in and kill us, so got to be very quick with Mario. And then for Wario, Yoshi, and Luigi, 
for Wario, Yoshi, and Luigi, we just have to knock on the, the door to get rid of them. Okay, there's Yoshi. So he's going to be coming to the door soon. Okay, I gotta get rid of Luigi. I got rid of Yoshi. Now I gotta get rid of Luigi. And I'm trying to get rid of Mario because he's fading in. Damn it, I couldn't get rid of Luigi. Okay, so Luigi, we have to knock on the right side. Okay, so for Luigi... Okay, so for Luigi, we have to knock on the right side of the stall. Wario, we have to knock on the left side. And then for Yoshi, we have to knock on the door. And then for Yoshi, we'll know he's close when he, because he stands... Because he will be standing in front of the door. Wario and Luigi, you'll see from underneath. Because they tend to come from underneath the stall. Alright, so we figured out how to deal with them. Okay, I see Yoshi and Luigi. So they're coming close. Damn it. I didn't see Yoshi in front of me. Damn it. Okay, so the bath, the bathroom, the boys' bathroom is definitely tricky because you have to knock on the door at like the right time. So it's definitely a little bit tricky. Just like with night one. Night one was a little tricky because of the curtain. Night two is tricky because, well, we're in the bathroom stall, so. Just kind of a weird place to be in, but as long as you knock on the door and keep it locked, you'll be protected. So apparently when Yoshi comes, when we see Yoshi on the camera, we have to knock on the door because that's what we got to do. Knock on it. Okay. Okay, Yoshi's nearby, so we gotta knock on the door. Okay, there we go. Okay, Yoshi left, so that's good. Now I gotta check for Wario and Luigi. Because Wario's gonna come from the left side, Luigi's the right side.
Okay.